It's uh, Nima in New Jersey, the Garden State, my home state. What is going on, Nima? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, hey, Brother Ben, long time, no chat. How you doing? Where are you, Nima? Where, where in uh, New Jersey? Uh, in Somerset, where it's crazy snow. With I heard. Insane I heard. winter, and, and part of my question to you today is related to that because I know I'm dealing with a little bit more cortisol and okay. stress than ever before. And um, I'm You want to lower that a little bit? You want to reduce yeah, that cortisol? Yeah. All right. First of all, yeah. well, a couple of things. Deep breathing is the number one fastest way to reduce cortisol. You can do it. It'll happen quickly, real quickly. As soon as you do it for just two or three minutes, you'll notice that relaxation response. Cortisol, for the listeners, by the way, is a chemical that's secreted out of the adrenal glands, and you'll know you're making a lot of cortisol when you have this kind of jittery energy where you feel wired but tired. That's a sign of excess cortisol. Cortisol, by the way, is not all bad. Cortisol actually can improve your mood. If you have low cortisol, you're not going to feel really good, and doctors will actually use cortisol as a prescription drug to help elevate patients' moods. So cortisol isn't all bad. We get a, a little jolt of cortisol around 4 or 5 in the morning. If you ever uh, experience waking up at 4 in the morning and you try to go back to sleep and you can't, that usually means that you got a jolt of cortisol in response to the sun coming up. Even if the sun's not completely up, your eyes can kind of sense that the sun is starting to come up and you'll get a surge of cortisol that's supposed to wake you up in the morning. So cortisol's not all bad. What you're looking, uh, we, the problem with cortisol is too much cortisol. And that is, uh, and that can be definitely be a problem. Deep breathing is the number one strategy to stabilize cortisol. Using more protein from a dietary standpoint is also a good strategy. Reducing your sugar intake because hypoglycemia, nothing will get you into a hypercortisol state faster than low blood sugar. And if you're eating a lot of processed foods or sugary foods, uh, sweet foods, you're going to go into low blood sugar. And that's really where this uh, triangle of disease kicks in. We go low blood sugar, cortisol kicks in uh, in order to give us a, a little bit of energy. And that's when, uh, over time, that's when the thyroid starts to slow down and that's when we really get into the disease process in full force. So keeping cortisol stable is indeed a very important strategy. Number one, deep breathing. Number two, uh, uh, avoiding processed foods and sugary foods. Number three, using nutrients that help you process sugary foods. Uh, the B vitamins, the sweeties, B1, B3, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Magnesium, Taurine, these are all nutrients, Alpha Lipoic Acid, these are all nutrients that can help you process sugar. And then last but not least, using nutrients for the adrenal glands, Nema, can be very helpful. Zinc, uh, 50 milligrams a day, very important for the adrenals, vitamin C. Interestingly, the nutrients that are important for the adrenals are also nutrients that will help you process sugar, so you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Zinc, vitamin C, magnesium, these are all important for the adrenal glands. Uh, vitamin E can be helpful for the adrenal glands, and they'll all help you process uh, process sugar, too. So you get uh, a two kind of uh, two, uh, a, a double benefits, if you will, by using sure. nutrients that support the adrenal glands and support sugar metabolism at the same time. And laying off coffee and anything that spikes cortisol is probably a good idea, too. Question so, on the vitamin E. Yeah. Is there anything you'd recommend within the longevity regimen for vitamin E? Longevity doesn't have a vitamin E, unfortunately. I'm trying to work on that. I've been talking to the doc about that. Uh, no, longevity doesn't have a vitamin E, but vitamin E is so inexpensive, it's really easy to get. Look for mixed tocopherols or mixed tocotrienols. Those are the best form of vitamin E. Tocotrienols are the deluxe form of vitamin E. Most vitamin E is tocopherols, and it's still good, but tocotrienols are the super deluxe form of vitamin E, and always look for mixed tocotrienols or mixed tocopherols. That will get you the full spectrum of vitamin E, alpha, beta, delta, and gamma uh, vitamin E forms rather than just the plain old alpha form, which is the kind that's in, the, that's in most gen, uh, generic type nutritional supplements. Got to move on, Nima. I hope that's okay. Anything, anything else you want to say real quick? Excellent work, my friend. Thanks so much. Have a great Thanks. one. God bless. Have a beautiful day, bro. All right, Robin in Virginia, you've been holding on forever. What's going on? How can we help you? Hey, Ben. Um, what I would like uh, is for you to recommend something for a friend of mine who has a uh, CML, chronic myeloid leukemia. Okay. All right. How old? Uh, I believe he's 43. All right. Well, chronic leukemia uh, usually takes years to develop, like all cancers. You know, there's acute leukemia is kind of rare because there's an acute form of leukemia, and that's that is characterized by a quick appearance of uh, cancer cells. Chronic leukemia usually takes years to to progress, and it's usually a sign of a body that's been breaking down for a long time. So, what you want to do with chronic leukemia is you want to focus on what ha what's what are the what have been the health issues? What's been going on in the body? What's been breaking down in the body for a long period of time? 
five. Of course, you know, it's always going to be the digestive system first, focusing on digestive health and digestive wellness, doing all the things we talk about on the program. Fasting would be great, a great strategy. Um, using juices, vegetable juices, a la the Gerson therapy can be helpful. Laying off any problem foods, caloric restriction in general. I, if it was me, I'm just going to tell you what I would do. I'd be getting intravenous vitamin C and intravenous glutathione, and I wouldn't be waiting, uh, waiting a day. I'd be on the phone or on the Internet looking around for somebody who could do intravenous vitamin C, intravenous B vitamins, intravenous magnesium. There's actually a, an intravenous protocol called the Myers cocktail, which is based on B vitamins and magnesium done intravenously. But you also want vitamin C and glutathione, laying off of problem foods, fasting, stabilizing blood sugar. Cancer is just an extreme form of degenerative disease. It's an extreme form of the aging process. So everything we talk about on the bright side in terms of stabilizing the body, in terms of reducing inflammation, reducing the activity of the immune system, uh, autoimmunity, slowing things down in the body, all those things that are important for anti-aging and for building muscle and for general health, they're extra important if you're dealing with cancer or chronic leukemia. So focus on digestive health and wellness. Use intravenous nutrition. Focus on deep breathing techniques, laying off problem foods, fasting, caloric restriction. Those are all the things that I would do for uh, if I was dealing with chronic leukemia. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Hope to see you in Santa Cruz this Friday, March the 7th at 6.30 p.m. at the Vintage Faith Church. Please check out my website, PharmacistBen.com, and click on the Join the Team link at BrightSideBen.com. Start yourself a longevity business and join the team. Help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.